And to add insult to injury, they look us in the face and say, oh, we are recovering. We have turned the corner. The only corner they have turned is their bedrooms, which has become banks for stashing stolen public funds. That is the only corner they have, they, 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 they have turned. The then, Doc, <laughs> look at the state of our central bank today. <laughs> are we discussing central bank? But is that not part of the economy? No, we were discussing the review. You, the budget ah, but is that not part of the media budget review? Or you've not read it? You must have stopped making a mockery of yourself, my brother. <laughs> How can you say we should discuss a, a budget statement without talking about the health sorry, sorry, of sorry. the regulator of the banking sector, mm. the Bank of Ghana? So then the Bank of Ghana is bankrupt. The, 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 budget the Bank of is Ghana, fiscal please, issue. please. We are talking the Bank about the Bank of Ghana issue, which today is, is bankrupt. The Bank of Ghana today has become insolvent. The Bank of Ghana today has declared losses to the tune of 60.8 billion, unprecedented in the history of the central bank. The Bank of Ghana today has declared negative equity of 55 to 70 billion. Why? Because the Bank of Ghana chose to pander to the whims and caprices of this reckless Kufuado Bagumia government by printing, continuously printing money illegally for this government. When we know what the Bank of Ghana Act says, Section 30, as amended by Section 16 of the new Bank of Ghana Amendment Act says, you can't, yes, you are the banker of government. When government goes into crisis, Bank of Ghana can advance um, um, overdrafts, short-term loans to the government. You can print money for government. But the law says, don't do more than 5%. Don't give the government more than 5% of the total revenue of the previous year. In 2020, the total revenue was 55 billion cities. 5% of that was 2.8 billion. Yet, in 2021, Bank of Ghana printed 35 billion cities for government, according to what remains on the books of Bank of Ghana. In 2021, total debt, uh, total revenue, 76 billion. The 5% of that was 3.8 billion, meaning that if Bank of Ghana wanted to give governments and overdraft. It shouldn't have exceeded 3.8 billion. They printed more than 10 times that amount. 45 billion. And the law says that any time the Bank of Ghana is exceeding 5%, the Bank of Ghana, you don't have the, the governor, you don't have the power to do that. You must go to parliament and tell the people's representatives that government is exceeding the 5% of the total revenue of the previous fiscal year they are entitled to. And so, tell us what to do. Yet, these criminally minded people who, are, who have no respect for the law, <laughs> decided to continue to print money. Today they printed over 80 billion, and government says we can't pay. Then the same people have gone to say that and say, okay, the money you printed for us, don't listen to it too, 80 billion is like 8 quadrillion old Ghana cities. The money you printed for us, now it has become bad debt, we can't pay. So write off 50% of it as bad debt. And the Bank of Ghana, without parliamentary approval, write off 50% of it as bad debt. In which country can this happen? And then instead of them to be resigning, instead of them to be explaining to us why they have violated the law, they have the effrontery to issue press releases and say, oh, uh, we are not alone. Other countries too have been in the same position. Really? All the countries they cited are industrialized countries. And none of the countries they, they, they have cited have actually breached their Bank of Ghana Act. What those countries have done are allowed by their laws. You understand? And that printing of money is what has led to the hyperinflation we are talking about here. No. Ah, you don't understand basic, basic, no. basic economics. I mean, don't, that is basic fine. economics. No, no, that that when you have more money no, trading, no. fewer goods, it leads to no, it, it no, spikes no. inflation. You don't no, know. No, 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 no. But the Bank of Ghana itself and the World Bank, when read the IMF document, <laughs> it says that the main reason for the hyperinflation is the continuous printing of what is called signal rich printing of money, which the Bank of Ghana continues to dump in the economy. No, signal rich is not the same thing you are talking about. What is signal rich? Different. What is signal rich? Is 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 a, like a, a American current dollar. Uh -huh. The benefits the currency America gets from the global utilization. Hey, Masa, don't that make a book. Are you carry on? Let's There's carry a very carry serious carry platform. Carry on. Don't Please expose. Carry on. Don't expose yourself on anyway, this. Anyway, are you done? Signorage refers to the printing of money. No, you go no, and check that. No, no, no. Please. You understand? People, people so this is what you have done. Then, doc. 